Now then, here we are, me and the mutt, out on an adventure in the beautiful Lake District. I'm currently going up the side of a mine which is above Glen Ridden. You can see Glen Ridden down in the bottom there. And this mine runs alongside Swart Gill. And we've got something just up here called Lucy's Tongue. I like the sound of Lucy's Tongue, unless it's sharp and bitter. <laughs> Not interested then. Anyway, we are heading up on towards the Rays, really. A mountain called Rays, which is 883 meters above sea level. And I've run over the top of it before, but I've never camped on it. So I don't know if there's anywhere to pitch a tent, but we'll find summit, definitely. The current temperature is cold, and it is set to get cold er because tonight we're gonna have a little tickle of snow, I think, and there's gonna be some pretty feisty winds as well coming through with that. And then all day tomorrow, it's not gonna get above freezing and there's gonna be a fair bit of snow as well, hopefully. I always look forward to a bit of snow. Anyway, let's get ourselves up there and find a place to pitch this tent. Get on. I've just been trying to work out the last time that I came up this route and I think it was six years ago me and Bluey Dog and we did like a big long running loop all the way around the back of these up onto the summit of Helvellyn and then we dropped down to Red Tarn and actually walked on top of Red Tarn the whole way over it because it was completely frozen so yeah it must have been a very cold winter but if you look up there you can just see that spiky bit and that is at the back of Catsty Cam or cat's die cam and then just beyond that you can see the top of swirl edge which has still got a fair bit of snow on so luckily i've got my ice spikes just to give us a bit of grip if i need Got Uncle John in his helicopter there, just coming to drop me off my lunch. It's interesting walking through these old mines because you've got these very unnatural slag heaps that are just sort of lying around everywhere of all the old debris that came out of the quarries and that was just unwanted. And even though it's quite a scar in the landscape, it's just nice to know that this is part of our history and without the double hard bastards that were <laughs> doing all this sort of work we would not be where we are today would we we'd be still living in caves <laughs> but yeah you can also see up there on the side of that hill there are a couple of the quarries which are obviously quite unnatural looking as well but even though we are becoming very soft and we are slowly ruining our beautiful earth mainly because of overpopulation I'd say we're having to accommodate more people which means more industry pulling more raw materials out of the earth 
yeah but we're all part of it aren't we we all uh, have a lot of crap at home that we don't need and we could definitely make better choices when it comes to that but i can escape it i can get away from the towns and cities and i can come here look at that not a soul to be seen just me very much a lone wolf and if you look up there that's where we are heading i'm going to head up this valley all the way to the top of that and then hopefully there's a nice pitch with a nice view It's a really pleasurable walk this, there's nothing technical at all and pretty much it's just a, a steady away climb. There's a couple of little steeper sections but it's just been lovely and it's just nice being out somewhere where there is just no one around as well and obviously when you're carrying a heavy backpack it just makes it a bit easier when the terrain is a little bit more forgiving and I've also only got one water bottle in here because I've got a couple of extra water bottles which I can obviously fill up and there's no point carrying the weight if you've got a filter so there are plenty of water sources all the way up this valley but because I am walking on the right hand side of this valley and the place that I'm heading is on the left side obviously at some point I need to cross this so I'm going to wait till I get to the top save me carrying that extra weight and then I'll get some uh, water filtered ready for the evening and we don't need much it's just enough to make a good cup of tea and obviously the dog needs some as well and it's just in case there isn't anything up there it's beautiful that isn't it anyway I've been walking alongside Sticks Gill and we're nearly coming to the top of it but as you can see it sort of plateaus out a bit there so I am worried I might not be able to find some water on that top section so I have found the absolute perfect place here just to uh, get myself some water because we have got this perfect little spout here which is obviously just very easy to fill your bottles up and it's been filtered through all this land here underground so pretty much it's not going to have anything nasty in it so let's get the bottles out and get some weight added to this backpack one bottle Well, that was very easy. Can't beat that for a water station. So this one now is just like a collapsible bottle, so it's about 600 millilitres, I think. Yeah, 600 mil. So this should be plenty for us to survive the night. We'll have enough to have a bath as well, probably. There we go, we're off. I've just got to Sticks Pass and I've taken a left, so I'm heading towards Ray's and that is Stybarrow Dodd in the background. Slightly smaller, I think that one weighs in at about 830 odd meters, something like that. Not quite as big as this that I'm heading to now, but there is quite a breeze. You can just see it's quite a flat sort of landscape all the way around here and the wind coming over the top of that is definitely making me feel rather bitterly cold. So I'm just thinking that I might need to find somewhere slightly out of the wind to pitch this tent because it has given 70 kilometer mile, uh, it has given 
70 kilometer per hour winds later on which is 50 mile an hour and that's enough to rattle anybody eh so I do, I do definitely need to make sure I find a nice safe place to pitch beautiful though look at that you can see down to Hull's water yeah awesome I'm looking forward to it Tap. and let's just crouch down oh, behind this uh, summit cairn hey bluey we made it we made it eh ah. it is amazing the temperature difference from being down in that sort of valley sheltered away to coming up here with the wind coming through and tonight it has given a wind chill as well of minus 12 so currently it's not that bad but it's gonna obviously get worse so we need to find somewhere that is going to be a little bit out of the wind so i'm going to head this way because the wind is coming over my shoulder here and heading down there so hopefully it'll just be a little bit more sheltered it's an awesome place though you've got views all around you can see Helvellyn up there all the way around look at this just amazing yep quite a special place really and somewhere I've never camped before right let's go find a really nice flat place well we've got a bit of snow still I'm hoping hoping for some snow overnight as well dog straight into snow because he absolutely loves playing in it anyway I found a grassy area here which is fairly flat and it has just got fantastic views look at that looking all the way down the valley we've got Sheffield Pike there a uh, place fell in the background and then if I turn you around this way we can see Catsley Cam which is the little sort of point and then we've got all of the uh, Helvellyn range just beyond it so not a bad spot at all so let's get this tent out and get it set up eh blue falling asleep in the snow it always amazes me how he can just endure the coldest conditions and it just doesn't bother him at all as long as he's dry that's the main thing and in weather like this it literally just lay down there all night 
Anyway, the tent is up and she's looking beautiful. This is the Abisco View 2 tent from Fjall Raven and it's classed as a three season tent really because it won't take the snow loading on top because it's quite flat. But I've had it out in some pretty gnarly conditions and it definitely copes with it. So it will definitely be our safe house for the evening. But I need to get inside because it's absolutely Baltic. My nose is going um, almost numb now and I've also got two bullets down here. So we need to get in and get some down kit on. Right, we're in. Well, I say we, I'm in. The dog is out there doing some mindfulness. It's just being present in nature, like we all should. Anyway, my sleep system for tonight is, we have got the PH Designs Minim 400 sleeping bag, and that's the K-Series, so it's literally absolute bare minimum, no zips, no faff at all. It's just all about warm to weight ratio. I've got my Sea to Summit Aeros pillow as always. And then the mat I'm using is the Thermarest X-Therm NXT. So that's going to keep me nice and warm. And then for blue, we have, first of all, we've got this mat underneath here, which uh, just sort of takes out any bumps just to make it a bit more comfortable for him. And it also gives a bit of insulation. And then this is the sort of a uh, sleeping mat that I made for him. And this has got eight layers of reflective foil inside it. And then it's covered in like Gore-Tex either side, which is out of an old Gore-Tex army bivy bag. So that just reflects a bit of heat back to him and he's never complained once, but <laughs> I don't think you'd see him complaining when he can just lay outside anyway, regardless of temperature. So I've got my bags just chucked in here. I've got a few items just thrown down here and I am now just taking in this view. Luckily it is clear enough to see and I am just, <sighs> looking forward really to just enjoying this whole night in this most brilliant place look at that view absolutely awesome I've just been at the summit, sort of taking in the lovely views and I can see there's some weather coming in. Some very moody skies. So what I don't want to do is get caught out and get damp. So I'm going to make sure I'll get back to that tent where we're guaranteed that we're going to be dry. Where are you? <laughs> Jeez. Woof. I nearly uh, took the fast route down then. Look at the skies though. And down there there's a lot of moisture falling from the sky. Could be snow but down in the valley it's more likely to be rain. <laughs> it's wild. That wind is definitely picking up as well. Luckily it's not too far to my tent. There she is. I've just had a couple of nice hours to myself listening to the wind and the tickling of snow against the tent. It just keeps coming through in flurries. Nothing major as yet though, so now to report. Anyway, 
it is time for some dinner i'm absolutely starving and i've got the best dinner ever and i've crammed it all into that little pack there so i've got two burgers some tomatoes lettuce some sliced cheese and a sweet chili sauce to put on it and they're going to go in two nice buns so that is going to be just an absolutely gorgeous dinner up here on a mountain i've pre-cooked the burgers so all i'm going to do is bang them into this pan get them on the heat and then just uh, bring them up nice and warm and then i can make my nice little butties eh <laughs> so exciting right let's get this opened and see what we're dealing with let's see if my lettuce is stayed crisp it has that's a good start so now i'm just gonna dig these burgers out i'll put them in a little uh, plastic wrap just to keep all the mank off the rest of the stuff and all i'm going to do is pop them in the bottom of there and i might have to do some sort of magic pancake flip with them but we'll get this gas on if it'll light it might not there we go i'll just put it on a low heat pop them on there and find the lid and that's it simple eh i'll just open this up a little bit more since there's no snow falling at the minute well i am definitely thankful that i have got my down gear on tonight i've got my little pixie boots on my down trousers and this jacket as well so this has just uh, kept me right while i've just been laid here and without them yeah i'd really struggle i mean my hands as soon as i bring them out for a minute or two they start to get cold so i've had to drop them into my pocket here just to keep me warm anyway let's get my swiss army knife out and chop these up <laughs> i will go quiet because i as I said before, I can't multitask. So talking and doing something at the same time is definitely uh, not something I'm great at. Let's just uh, give these a quick flip. If I can. Come on. Oh, it went back in the same way. There we go. Cut this second one. I always carry a Swiss Army knife with me, but it's not often that I actually use it. But I would never want to go anywhere without it, just because if something does go wrong, you've got plenty of things on there that might be able to help you out. Obviously, a knife's a major one there. What else have we got on it? We've got uh, some little snips, not snips. Um, pliers so at least I can hold something with it and might be able to save me with that can opener if you're an alcoholic great one <laughs> there's some tweezers as well so that's always handy anyway let's get me a sweet chili sauce out I've just popped it into a little canister thing there so I'm just going to share this out onto the bread ideally I'd have a mayo with it but I couldn't find any little sachets of mayo so I'm just going to use this on its own oh, that's not going to be enough really is there that's one done well I'll put the rest on here come on It's not the easiest stuff to get out of here. Reminds you of them old uh, ketchup bottles when you were a kid. You used to hammer the back of them just to get the bloody ketchup out. Well, they are actually looking pretty good. Just give them another 30 seconds or so. What do I do with tomatoes? Do I put them in it? I just eat them as they are. Oh, let's 
Let's do it properly, eh? We'll do it properly. We'll chop them up and get them in there. Right. I'll turn that off. Get my cheese out ready. Oh, broken one. I don't want to do that, do I? Ow, that's hot. Two burgers. I'm <laughs> well excited about this. I honestly can't wait. And while they're still really hot, I'm just going to lay some cheese on. You can't see what I'm doing, can you? Let's just uh, bring a bit of light down for you. You still can't see, can you? Anyway, let's get some cheese laid on just so it softens that's all I need and this is just a plain cheddar which I think always goes well it has to be a strong cheddar though none of this sort of a uh, weak flavored stuff hmm oh yeah blue Got to share with dog, don't I? So, I'm going to chop up some tomatoes. All I'll do is put them in half. <laughs> yeah, you can see what I'm saying about multitasking. I really can't do it. Right, a bit of lettuce. And I'm good to go. Well excited. Cannot honestly wait. Let's put that away because that'll definitely uh, ruin the tent. Ah, right, let's have it, eh? That don't look too shabby, does it? Honestly, can't wait to delve into this. I don't even know where to start. Mm. Wow. I'm like nodding and shaking at the same time there. Mm. That is just divine. That is fine dining on top of a mountain. And because I pre-cooked the burgers, it only took a minute or two to make that. Don't talk to me a mouthful. Mm. Yep, I'll be having that again for definite. On to the second one. Just incredible. I'm honestly going to give this a 9 out of 10 for a mountain meal. 9 out of 10. Actually looks pretty clear out there now. I made myself a nice cup of tea. Although I say nice, it's one of those army ration pack teas, which is a, a three-in-one powder. So you've got the whitener, the tea, and some sugar within. It tastes all right, to be honest, but I am also eating with it a bit of a breakfast bar type thing, which is a soft bake from, is it a Belvita one? Well, that's nice and tasty, that. Good. Hmm. But yeah, it's nice to just uh, sit in my tent, knowing that it's uh, pretty chilly out there. Sat against my trekker chair, which is just fantastic in this tent because I've got it doubled up. So under my butt, there's what 
nearly 150 mil, something like that I would have thought by the time I've compressed it a little bit. And I've still got absolutely acres of space up here. It's a fantastic tent for chilling out in. Definitely more of a summer tent, because obviously with it you can roll the front up and the back up and just have it completely opened up as well if you need. And it's got the bug net just to keep the bugs out, so it's a good tent. I do like it. Anyway, it has been a good day. It really has been a nice day, hasn't it? Just getting out and getting into nature. That's what it's all about for me, and I thoroughly enjoy it. And it's like my therapy. I'm always a happy man, but it's just nice to maintain that. And I think you need to do that just by doing these sorts of things, getting out and just being present in it all. Yep, it is absolutely awesome. Anyway, what have I got to show you? Anything new? I've got the dog's backpack. So this is made by Ultimate Direction and I found this in a sale and I paid £10.50 for it. £10.50 for a backpack. So as you can see, it's got a handle there, place to attach a lead to. We've got some decent sized pouches on the sides there and then two sort of uh, stuff pockets at the front. One's got his waterproof jacket in and the other one you could probably put in some snacks or whatever. But basically he's just got all his food in there. He's got his, um, what else? Oh, his uh, plate that he sort of eats off. So I put all his food onto that. It's like a silicon plate. And I also had in his sleeping mat. So I folded that up and that fit in as well. So fits plenty in. It seems pretty comfortable for him. He's not had any sort of issues with it today at all. And I am quite happy with it. And for £10.50, absolute bargain, eh? But I am definitely a bargain hunter. What else? Look at this. This is what I've also done today. I've found myself a heartstone, but not just one heartstone. That's a pretty good one. But we've also got this little one there. Can you see that? That's cute, isn't it? And then one final one, it's like a horde of them. This one, which is actually off this mountain about 50 yards away from here, so that's the special one of the day, I would say. So there we go, three heart stones. I don't know if you can see them. Let me just line them up on my hand. You ready? Oh, you can't see, you can't see. That looks like normal crappy stones, won't they? Anyway, you're collapsing. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Everything's gone to shit now. Oh no. I'm just gonna sit back, drink my tea, And just take in the last moments of this evening and then once I'm sort of uh, done brush my teeth nip out to the toilet for one last time I'll be getting in my sleeping bag and just getting down to la la land sleeping away for the evening so I'll say goodbye now we'll see you in the morning take care morning flowers I am smiling because we just have the most fantastic sunrise. Look at that. Sometimes life just... You cannot help but smile, that's it. Absolutely stunning. You don't get that sat at home, do you? You really do not. Definitely worth climbing up a mountain to get to see that and setting your alarm as well. <laughs> yes, yes.
comes. Welcome to a new day. And do you know what? I have never seen this day before. And that's what always brings me excitement in life. Just like that, a cloud comes in and just smothers me. Well, we had about an hour just pottering around outside, taking in that absolutely sublime sunrise. It was just honestly the most spectacular sort of time. It wasn't just a moment, it was a, a section of time and it was just brilliant to be part of that. But the weather did come in, the winds picked up, the cloud came in and there was some uh, snow as well that was falling. And because obviously it was getting blown by the wind, it was quite, sharp at us so we uh, decided to come back to the tent and we've just been laid here for the last sort of couple of hours really just uh, in my own thoughts and it has just been again a really nice time so anyway we're gonna have to embrace it we're gonna have to get ourselves packed up and back off this mountain so without further ado let's go Blue's been patiently waiting and now we are ready to get out. I've got my gloves on which are pre-warmed against my body inside my jacket. I've got my uh, Fjallraven Keb shell jacket which is obviously going to keep the wind off which is really important in this sort of weather. And I've also got these Keb trousers on from Fjallraven as well which are the sort of winter trousers so they've just got a slight bit of a thickness to them. So hopefully they're going to keep the wind off too. Right, are you ready then? Let's get outside and see what we are going to have to endure. Let's just grab this zip.
sent us down. It wasn't the easiest to drop, but we have managed. Anyway, leave no trace as always. And now we need to get back on our way, on for the next adventure. Get on them, Blue. Go on. just crouched behind this rock here just to uh, get a little bit of a respite away from this wind because it is brutal and the wind chill is just ridiculous so I'm making sure that I'm keeping warm gloves will not come off because 10 seconds out of the glove and you can already feel your hands going so anyway it has just been awesome what an absolutely epic adventure I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it that sunrise was just sublime it really was and it was just really nice to stand out in that while the uh it was kind of calm conditions for that minute so it was actually really nice just to have like an hour chilling out and just being part of that just natural beauty and you know to get out and do these sorts of things as long as you've got some decent kit build up a bit of experience then you know you can get out and see these things like i get to show you guys on the tv as you are watching if you want to help me continue making these videos then give the video a big fat thumbs up and you can also buy me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link down below and also you can join the patreon but make sure that you're sharing my channel with other people as well let's get more people involved getting outside and then just enjoying some of this positivity that i'm trying to spread throughout the world anyway from me and the beautiful blue. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.